Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for November 1st. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, November 1st, 1765, the Stamp Act went into effect, prompting stiff resistance from American colonists. The Stamp Act, which required colonists to pay a tax on every piece of printed paper they used, was seen as an attempt by England to raise money in the colonies without the approval of the colonial legislatures. The colonists reasoned that if they did not resist this new tax, the door would be opened for far more troublesome taxation in the future. Also, on this day in 1879, the world's first all-steel railroad bridge was placed in service over the Missouri River at Glasgow, Missouri. By the 1890s, nearly every new bridge was all steel. And on this day in 1950, Charles Cooper, the first African-American player to be selected by a National Basketball Association team, played his first game for the Boston Celtics against the Fort Wayne Pistons. Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the word shame. When you feel shame, you feel a sense of guilt and embarrassment about something that you've done. Sometimes when people feel shame, their cheeks get red. Now, I think the best thing to do when you feel shame is to apologize to the person or people that you've offended. And when you shame someone else, you make them feel bad for something that they've done. It never feels good to feel shame. If your friend has done something wrong, it's important to explain that you don't like what they said or did, but that you still like them very much as a person. Today on Extremes, we ask, what is the saltiest body of water on Earth? The answer is the Dead Sea. The water in the Dead Sea is six times more salty than ocean water, which is why it's referred to as the Dead Sea. Nothing can grow in it because it's so salty. The Dead Sea is located between the West Bank of Israel and Jordan. Even though it's so salty, people still swim in the Dead Sea. But it's so salty that instead of swimming, people actually float at the top of the water. Health tips. Here are a few things you can do to keep your bones strong. Number one, get lots of exercise. Jumping rope, jogging, and running are really good for making bones stronger. And number two, drink milk. It contains calcium and vitamin D, both of which are good for building good, strong bones. Dark, leafy green vegetables are great as well. We love people. <laughs> There are some powers that the Constitution gives to state governments that are not given to the federal government. These state powers include the power to issue licenses, the power to regulate businesses within the state, the power to create public schools, the power to make motor vehicle and traffic laws, the power to ratify amendments to the Constitution, the power to establish local governments, and the power to regulate marriage and divorce. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>